coming to the second part is billing and revenue management so again under billing and revenue management we have four different uh, updates that has come first one talks about billing transaction and exception analysis using OTBI uh, using the OTBI so you can now so uh, like we can create an ad hoc analysis we can create reports we can create dashboards on billing transaction and revenue and exceptions using new uh, subject area so there are two different subject areas which has been introduced and you can build a report dashboard or you can do your analysis based on these two subject areas now what are these two subject areas let's have a look I'll also show you an UI how you can create an analysis on that first uh, subject area talks about uh, project billing billing transaction real-time subject area now project man manager can create dashboard this analysis enables the project manager to select one of their project report the total unbilled amount see what are what all transactions are unbilled with the expected billing amount for each so as per your projects as per your business units you as per your different business unit you can have different projects under that you can drill down to the uh, like you can have a report wherein uh, what is a total unbilled amount how many uh, transactions are unbilled so those things can be generated using this subject area the second subject area is about billing and revenue exception real-time subject area so as we know there are many exceptions which comes when we create uh, billing or revenue events or uh, invoices so all such exceptions uh, we can have a count of exceptions that has come we can uh, also see the message uh, which has come against that uh, exception so such things can be uh, seen uh, or we can create a report out of it uh, segregated segregated contract wise or project wise we can have a dashboard or we can have a report or we can just quickly get into the analysis of such kind of uh, subject area so we'll go in UI I'll show you how quickly I'll show you like with an example like how, how we can do it let me go to the tools in under the tools we can have we can see reports and analysis let us select that so once we arrive uh, to this page select browse catalog <coughs> under the browse catalog um, select create so under the create you can see different option dashboard you have reports but dashboard and reports will take time so we can have a quick analysis I'll show you how how analysis can be quick analysis can be done so click on analysis so under this uh, analysis okay so what let's check what are what is our subject area it's under projects it's under project billing and revenue exception it's under project so we have different subject these are all the subject areas under which you can have multiple uh, analysis done so we are look, looking for project So it takes time if we search over here no it takes time so I'll just drill down here itself project and this is our subject area project billing and revenue exception real time so let this okay so once you select this 
uh, on left hand side we can see different subject area uh, we have to just drag and drop over the right side so first let me select the project for which project are require uh, the exceptions uh, count project under that i'll select uh, project name you just have to do drag and drop project name project number that's fine and then let me go to the exception part yeah exception measure under that uh, you can have how like what is the count of exception for a particular project how many exception what what is an uninvoiced amount in contract currency what is the unrecognized amount you can select any but we require exception count for now so once we have selected what columns we need click on results let's wait so yeah so project num project name is this business world data warehouse project number so exception count is 30 so there are 30 transactions uh, those are into exception so yeah so this is how you can uh, build a different many scenarios out of uh, the subject data let me go to the document again so similarly you can do for project billing also as i did for project uh, billing and revenue exception real time subject area also i have just shown the analysis part for quick review but you can or uh, build a report out of it you can build an uh, dashboard out of it so what are the business benefit so project manager and uh, project managers or we can say project billing specialist or accountants can easily report all the billing and revenue exception across the project and business unit so if you wanted to know uh, as per uh, as we just saw a uh, like different project as per the project names so you can also add a filter of a uh, business unit so under the business unit there are certain projects so under the certain project there are so this is the count of uh, unbilled transactions or sorry exceptional transactions project managers are no longer need to navigate to different work areas to view ex exceptions for their project based on the process in which the exceptions are were raised so again for this otbi is readily available subject areas are readily available so uh, there is no no need to uh, do certain things to enable this feature it's already there the second part talks about the second feature talks about display content control in downloaded work document so basically this is this is for the contract document which is created and updated so this feature is related to that if you are using a structured term uh, where you can choose to display content control box in microsoft word where the contract is document so whatever uh, after downloading a con after the contract is downloaded to word you will be able to see a box that box is called as con content control box wherein you can click on each clause title or section and people can know the other person who is referring to this uh, contract document uh, they know this box refers the edited part so under this there are this kind of additions has been done or this part has been updated by a certain user so this is how uh, it uh, the content box keeps a check on what has been updated uh, who who has updated it so displaying content control box around the existing section and clause make it easier to see where to add new content to the downloaded contract this helps to quickly locate and view what changes were made to contract when 
uploaded to the application so as what i said so where we can add so which part has been updated or if we wanted to add a certain part under a certain statement so create a content box and you can update it steps to enable check the you have to just check the option display contract control in the downloaded contract in the terms template to see the content contract uh, that content control box in the microsoft word when any contact or any contract using the template is downloaded third part talks about quantity and rate displayed on labor invoices so basically initially it was to happen we used to get direct amount on the labor invoices but now you can capture quantity you can capture rate uh, uh the unit price those things can be captured in the invoice as well as it can also be seen in the ar module also so let us just go one by one capture quantity unit capture quantity unit of measure and unit price on the labor project contract invoice line define and utilize a labor invoice format that includes new grouping attributes unit price and invoice currency portrait to ensure that the quantity unit of measure and unit price in invoice currency is populated on the labor invoice so before if you wanted to show all these things in the invoice you have to change your existing format and select this one unit price in you invoice currency this format has to be selected invoice format then only whatever uh, whatever changes like unit of measure unit price and the quantities can be seen can be seen in the invoice the main benefit of this feature is to transfer the attributes to receivables so that user can print them on receivable invoices display them on the invoice ui and include them in the otbr reports it also so once this format is used you can see everywhere in the receivable invoice in the otbr reports also in the ar coming to the fourth and last uh, feature update upload your contract document in background so you can upload your contract do document uh from a contract term page or oracle contract word add in using the automated schedule background process so you have to run the schedule process and your doc contract document would be updated now previously what used to happen contract documents used to be huge or it used to consume lot of time so other process uh, used to get hampered like we could not do other task but with this you can continue to perform limited actions from the contract term page or work on the other contracts while uploading uploading is done in the process so uh, even even though after this announcement you want, you can do the limited actions as they have stated you can override this option if you want to upload your document in real time be notified by email when the contract document is uploaded and you can also view the notification in the application so you have in app notification also and you have email notification also when the process of uploading document is completed this is useful when uploading large documents that makes that may take additional time so of course we know there are few contract documents that are huge to upload and it consumes lots of time uh, lots of time also uh initially we could not uh, make some changes in contract term or you ca we cannot use that contract term page but now with the schedule process you can do the limited actions while uploading your transaction while uploading your contract uh, uh uh contract documents in the background via schedule process so if you wanted to enable this use the allow background upload check in the edit term so here you can see in the diagram you have to check this allow the background upload to select to to run this process in background so this was all about the 23b part 1 will be coming soon with 23b part 2 also